Vescasian 2. Let's enter. No, let's not enter. Let's load. <laughs> um, I had a look back at the last video. Um, we were worried about the um, whether or not that per potion merchant teleported when it stepped out of the telepad. I believe it did. We were we were using the click to move method, so we clicked a square and we're, we moved multiple squares in one turn. During that time, the merchant stepped on the square. And if you listen, there is a sound of a teleportation. I believe what happened is then it stepped on that square, teleported to the other one, and then by the time we moved to this square, it was still on the other square, so it teleported back. And that's basically what happened. I.e., it worked, as far as I can tell. Let's, uh, let's look around before I start wandering randomly here. Got an outlaw, we know what those are. Shambler, I think 50% chance that the damage it does to our max health is permanent, i.e. if it does like 10 damage, it comes off our max health instead of just our health. Spectral Cat, we can kind of deal with, although it has massive uh, defense. The second one, they do electrical damage as well. This is an aberration we can kill. Actually, these might be too. These are all aberrations. We can kill them with our, um... We can try to kill them with our, um... Decontaminate abilities. Kill this guy before he steals any gold from the dungeon somewhere. You son of a bitch. Let's use our voodoo doll on him. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Alright, we've almost got him. Alright, he's dead. Let's go uh, kill these things while we're... Oh, there's another outlaw. Why did it not show up? It's not showing up. Why? Hmm. I'm gonna have a look, quick look, guys. We'll have to figure out why the outlaw is not showing up. Uh, let me see if I can fix this particular bug. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> there's nothing wrong there. Um, my assumption, we came down the stairs and immediately tons of monsters were visible to us, right? And I assumed it was because our mirror of location was going and that revealed to us all the monsters. But of course, that's not what it was. It was our... It's just the fact that there were a bunch of um, aberrations and our sense of purities skill had uh, kicked in. Let's go ahead and use the mirror of location. Just a tad triple check. Yeah, now we can see it just fine. There's a werebear there as well. Huh. So there's a lot more monsters on this level than I thought there were. Another outlaw. A werebear. The werebear. A bunch of werebears. Alright. Well, it doesn't change our initial plan on how to deal with the, uh... The, these guys. Let's go ahead and use our decontaminate spell on it. Or decontaminate perk, pardon me. Killed it. Now the sworn enemy of all aberrations. Let's go get this one with it too. If it's not running. There we go. Got it. Ooh, love a filled pit trap, or pit, rather. Monsters have a hard time finding us, of course, because our stealth is so high, and we also have some sort of, uh, I don't remember what. Some other, oh my god. This is going to be useful. Okay, um, let's just triple check. Our magic enemy skill is indeed expert. Let's drop something, like, it doesn't really matter what. Let's drop this chainmail quaff, just for a minute to pick up the bottomless backpack. And let's take a look at that. There it is in slot 35, bottomless backpack. As long as the bottomless backpack remains in your inventory and your magic enemy skill is expert, your inventory is increased by 18 slots. Owning more than one has no extra effect. It supersedes any lesser bags and is superseded by any larger bags. In other words, guys, holy fuck. We got a lot more carrying capacity now. Let's go ahead and grab this uh, chainmail quaff back. Should 
should probably add in a button here that just goes to the top or bottom, but where would I put it? That's a fucking good find, guys. <laughs> Jesus. I thought we had gold. Let's not search the body again. It'll just upset uh, Sentum V. Let's go ahead and use our last of these. There's only three of these guys on this level. Let's go ahead and use Decontaminate 3. Oh, it didn't work that time. That's unfortunate. Um, we don't have great odds of hitting it. Roll with it, number three. We'll keep that for sure. Um, I don't think we can use it yet. No. That'll give us tumbling, expert tumbling. So if we learn basic and advanced, which maybe we'll do, then we can learn it. We ultimately reduce any falling damage we take by 75%. Till the ink runs dry. Another tome. Volume 2. Research skill to the advanced level. Do we already have it at all? No, we don't have it at all. So if you learn this to the basic level, then we can read that book and learn to the advanced level. That'll give us new spells for once in a while when we go to new maps. Come back here, you fucker. Alright, fuck it. Cooking fire. A layman's guide. Focus. I think we already have this. Uh, this would learn us willpower to the advanced level. No, expert level if we already have it to the advanced level. Do we have it? No, we don't. We got three fucking tomes, guys. We can carry them all, of course, because of our new backpack. These guys are a little bit scary. Let's, um, you know what, let's use our Rod of Vampirism. Fuck, our cudgel's broken, guys. Let's switch over to our... either this... our blade. Although extra to hit wouldn't be bad. Our blade. You can see our chance of hitting has gone up massively because the uh, the cudgel is hard to hit with because it's so heavy. Let's kill him while we get the vampirism going. Alright, it wore off. What broke? Something broke, guys. Our fucking armor. Oh, shit. That ain't good. Our lamellar armor broke. You can see they have a much better chance of hitting us now. Um, let's figure out how we're going to deal with this. We can find a freaking repair station. What do you call one of those? A forge or something. As I recall, we have advanced repair. Maybe not expert. Damn. This is one of the dangers, of course, of delaying, right? We've been deliberately delaying our progress, but... It means shit like this can happen. Let's, uh, let's cast Blur. I'm gonna give us 15 extra defense. And Mirror Image, which will not raise our def... Oh no, let's go ahead and cast... Um, Mage Shield. So it gives back to a 10% chance of being hit. We leveled up, guys. 2 dexterity, 4 max health, 10 after points, 2 skill points. Got excellent vision 3, we are now immune to blindness. Um, we haven't seen that come into play, but there are monsters and traps and spells and stuff that can blind you. I think we're sticking with this for the moment, guys. Hmm. Given what we just saw, like my instinct to some degree is to save our skill points so we can get expert repair, but it's then again, we have these spell books, right? We can learn these new skill books. So let's go ahead and learn basic willpower, right? There are two skill points. We learn basic willpower. No, that's not going to help us yet. If we learn basic research,
then we can read till the ink runs dry. Now we're at advanced research. Which gives us a 30% chance of gaining a new spell every time we go to a new map. New random spell. We still have one skill point, guys. What do we put in? We could save it. And then when we get the next level up, then we'll have the two for repair. Or. Hmm, what else do we do? Or we put it into tumbling. Then we have to gain. Then the next time we level up, we can put one more point into tumbling, and then we could read the book to get expert. Or we can't put it into willpower. We could learn dodge. Let's do that right now. Give us an extra 15 defense. Given our armor is broken, that'll help. A ring of memory. Plus six max learnable spells. We don't need that right now. We just learned memory. Carry it for now. Disarmed a basilisk snare. Flute. Let's, um, Staff of Magic Detection three times. Let's also, of course, uh, use our Nose for Gold three times. gems here. Let's go ahead and use our light spell again. Oh, that son of a bitch got it. Oh, he cast mage spell. No, my, that's me. That's my, um, my chainmail quaff of protection. You saw I got hit, so he cast mage helm. Gives me 30 extra defense. Let's see if there's a map. It's a dwarven map. You found a dwarven map revealing three gemmed walls. Unfortunately, our mining skill is so low that we're not going to bother with that. Let's go ahead and unlock this book cabinet. I'll try. Oh my god, that's a good spell. Alright, we got a lot of really good spells here, guys. Uh, let's reorganize. Alright, guys. A spell book improved. We're going to learn that. It costs 230 spell points, but every time we cast it, we gain 1 to 10 attribute points. Holy shit. Let's learn that. Let's also learn creature copy. Of course, high power enchantment costs 80 spell points. Summons the identical monster to the one we're fighting to fight for us. Let's see what this is. Pilgrim's token. Hey, we got those back. Five of them. All right, those are useful. Let's go ahead and kill this guy if we can. If we can catch him for fuck's sakes. You son of a bitch. Don't want that. Oh! Maybe I do, actually. Let's go ahead and search this junk pile. See if we find an improvised breastplate. No. Broken pendulum blade and a makeshift bow in the junk pile. Um, both are improvised weapons. Don't need either. We'll carry them for now because we can. But we'll almost certainly be dropping them soon. Can I extinguish this? What do you think would happen? Should I be able to? Should it turn into a standard pit? I'm a little curious. Staff of Person Charming. Okay. Carry that for now. It has four charges. Um, when we use it, 100% chance it works. And then that gives us a 50% chance to charm any monster, which includes the werebears. If we can meet one of those again. You get back here. You fucker. All right, fuck him. Let's leave him alone. I'm a little curious. Oh, there we met him. 
Oh fuck, we got another great spell book. Cleave Soul. Costs 70 spell points. This spell halves the current health of the monster you're fighting rounded up. We'll use that on Zaskazian for sure. That is a sweet ass spell, guys. Let's try and use Extinguish and see what happens. I'm just curious. If it doesn't work, it probably should turn it to a pit. It doesn't say it will, but it says it'll remove lava. That is a lava filled pit. Let's find out. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah. Made it into a standard pit. I'm not sure if that's better for us, to be honest. We might have preferred the lava. <laughs> but I wanted to find out if it would work. Odds are not great of leaping across. Let's find out what's in here. Water is cold, but nothing happens. Pick up this unknown potion. Here's our way off the map. We met the uh, temple yet? Yeah. Let's find out what's over here. Fuck it. Let's leave it. Let's just risk it. We did it. Nothing over here. It's a big old empty room. Did it again. Alright, um... Let's go on up to here. Oh, shit. Let's use our wand repeatedly. The uh, wand of um, gold generation. All the way to max. Let's use it every time. No. Let's leave it at that, actually. Let's use our staff of magic detection three times. So it's empty. Let's go fill the staff of magic detection at the at the um, recharge station. Yes, we want to use this to recharge our staff of magic detection back to six. Let's go ahead and use it three more times. Let's go collect all these magic items, magical items. Unknown potion, okay. Where are they? A magic proof ring. Hmm. Gives us 75% magic resistance. We're definitely carrying that. We'll put that on before our battle with Zaskazian. Zaskazian's one of his biggest threats, of course, so he can cast spells at us. Now, we already have 75% chance to resist magic based on our magic resistance skill, which we pumped up. Um, but we could also put this on, and then if we... If he casts a spell at us, there's a 75% chance we resist the effects. And if that fails, then the ring will kick in and we'll have another 75% chance to resist the effects. A total reconstruction rod. Holy crap, guys. Alright. It has six charges. You can use it once by left-clicking it. If successful, you will become regenerating for 39 turns. So it's kind of like our, um... We have Flesh Knit. But Flesh Knit only works for 13 turns, I think. I think this works for 39 turns. Carry it for now. Flame Strike Rod, we need that too. Fuck me. What are we gonna drop, guys? We gotta start dropping shit. Drop the Ring of Memory. Drop the Mid-Power Scroll. Drop this other Unknown Potion. Actually, we don't need to drop all that. Yet. Flame Strike. Uh, every time we use it, 100% chance of success for us. Does 65 to 115 fire damage to the monster we're fighting. Chance of starting a fire just like the um, other thing. Just like the uh, fireball spell, but but more chance. Um, that's kind of cool. Let's carry it for now. Poison proof ring. 75% magic or poison resistance. Admittedly, um, Zeskazian is also very venomous. So that could help with that too. It could be two things to throw on at the last minute to fight him. Mm -hmm. Eh, we're already carrying a lot. I'm not going to leave the pit to get to that. Let's go get this one, though. Mid-power scroll. Carry it for now. Alright, are we out of here? No. Let's look at the junk pile. In case we find a uh, cattle skewer and a tin sheet. And there's a makeshift um, improvised bladed weapon and an improvised shield. Don't need either of them. I think we're ready to head on, guys. The only thing left around here is the detected magic item. We're not going to do that right now. Let's go to the lair. What is it to? Enter the Tower of the Warlocks. Warlocks congregate in towers where they can practice their dark arts en masse. All manner of magic paraphernalia can be found within wands, spellbooks, amulets, as well as the pentagrams they so enjoy using. And soon after your arrival, probably a lot of diabolics too. Warlocks, of course, are a person 
who can conjure demons. Um, let's go in. I just had a curious thought. Oh, our advanced research kicked in. That's great. Oh, I forgot to cast my light spell, damn it. Research a spell. We got summon monstrosity. Let's learn that. <laughs> my god, guys. You know what? Let's just cast this. See what happens. Repair spell. Okay. Let's repair our um, lamellar armor. Got it back to 20% condition. Better than nothing. Pick up summon monstrosity. And let's learn that spell. Summon Monstrosity, of course, is the expert version of our Summon Creature spell. So this will summon high power um, monsters of animal intelligence to fight for us. Tower of the Warlocks, we point here. Um, warlock layer populated by warlocks. Organized with rooms connected by halls. In addition to the extra gold common to all layers, this layer usually contains extra spellbooks, scrolls, magic items, magic jewelry, wands, staves, and or rods, as well as pentagrams with dedicated laboratories and libraries. Okay. Um, something that crossed my mind. You can cast summon, summon Fiend. Well, actually, two things I should, I should check. Just let me check one thing, guys. Um, query mid. Just looking at the thing here. Uh, summon Fiend. Oh, yeah, it does cost 70 spell points, which means they can only each cost it once. They used to be able to cast it repeatedly, and they had a chance that they could stop, but they only have 70 spell points, so they can each cast it once. I'm curious to make sure they can cast it. Only a 10% chance each turn. Let's try and let them cast it. There was an error before where they weren't casting this shit. Oh, I can hear them casting it. Yeah, there we go. So somebody cast it. Um, cast a lightning elemental. Not this guy, though. Um, my curiosity... Let's just find out the answer to this. Let's go on here. Let's warlock. Oh, if we can. Let's cast... Let's use our Staff of Person Charming to try and charm him. No effect. I was curious if we... Uh, oh, fuck. Let's get rid of that fire elemental before it fucking starts fires everywhere. Fuck. Let's get off it. Death spell local. We'll learn that in a minute. We need this thing dead. All right, we're getting close to death. Let's hopefully have a. We have something we can chug. No, no, we don't have any of those. Um, let's use the um, total reconstruction rod. Gods. Let's cast Summon Monstrosity. Fuck. We don't have expert spell use yet? Oh, we only have advanced, but we've got all these great spells we can't even use. Let's go ahead and learn the death spell. It does the same thing as our bone flute. We're dead. Just like that, guys. I should have known better. My health was pretty low there. You saw that. That's why we cast a spell. We are down towards the bottom. And I knew these could be booby traps. Admittedly, we have a 75% chance to disarm the booby traps, but we didn't disarm it. And here you go. It was a double spear trap. Did 100 points of damage. Could do anywhere between 25 to 115. Did 100. We had like 40 health. That's it. After all that, guys, we did not win this game. It was my own fault. I should have thought twice before stepping on that. Oh well. You're dead. You got a high score of 120,512. Remember, it is Nef Sharja the Goddess. These were all booby traps right here, guys. These are spellbooks. This is sort of a library area, as you can see. Got a bunch of book cabinets and some books. There's a weapon merchant over here named Alex Axworthy. Man. Shouldn't have come in here, I guess. Well, there you go, guys. That was fun. We corrected a ton of bugs, and of course, that was the purpose of playing this game, was to fix as many bugs as possible. Um, 
before releasing the game. We fixed so many. Yeah, I'm going to release it. Uh, if, if not today, then this week, the new ver newest version will go up at itch.io. You can look for Caverns of Zeskazian there. Or search for my name, Jeff Sinisaki, there, or you'll find it. Um, or I may have included a link in the very first episode of this uh, playthrough. I'm not sure. I should. That's it, I guess, guys. Nothing else to show you. We didn't have any uh, potions or anything, did we? Yeah, it was a mage potion we were carrying. Maybe we already knew that. Let's try and use something and see what happens. No, it doesn't work. I was hoping it wouldn't, of course, but I wanted to see if it would. Let's try and cast a spell, make sure we can't. Nope. Let's try and use a perk. Nope, can't do it. Good. Hmm. Did not last long, only, only 41 turns in this map. It lasted 41 turns in this map, and we did. Alright, I'm, I'm wasting time now, guys, but there you go. That was really cool. Really good adventure. I mean, that was a completely... I love roguelikes, man, and that's why. That was a completely um, procedurally generated adventure. You can play this a thousand times, you will never have that adventure again. Nothing like it. Um, so, pretty cool. A lot of uh, smoke in here, too. You can see is is perma smoke or something, because it shouldn't... Uh, there's smoke coming off the lava, but it looks like there's also like perma smoke area, which is uh, smoke that just doesn't go away. All right, man, that's it. I'm out of here. Uh, press quit. No, hit OK. Let's go ahead and see our high score here. Oh, it's the highest I've gotten in a while. Level 38, female Vian Dogman Purifier. You can see a lot of different purifiers I did while I was testing, and all the warriors I was doing while I was testing. That, of course, is another new, uh, new class or newly restored class in the... Um, in the newest version going up. There you go. Skewered by a kobold spear trap, melted by an acidic potion, melted by lava, drowned, died of critical poisoning, skewered by a kobold spear trap, killed by a rock baboon while monster attracted, blown up by an explosive trap, sank in quicksand, killed by a lich, fell in a spiked pit trap, went hypothermic in frigid water, froze to death, immolated in flame, and skewered by a double spear trap. There you go. Alright, so be it, guys. Talk to you soon.